The Tao of Self-Confidence, Episode 404 Welcome to the Tao of Self-Confidence, where I share stories of amazing women who have discovered their inner journey to self-confidence. Visit our website at thetaoofselfconfidence.com. Your inner journey to self-confidence awaits. Well, hello, friend. Welcome to the Tao of Self-Confidence, where I share stories of amazing women who have discovered their inner journey to self-confidence. I'm your host today, Sheena Yap Chan, and today I have a phenomenal lady on the show today. She is a social media content creator, and I'm just really excited to have her on and share her story with us today. So without further ado, I'm going to introduce you to Jessica Lasaka. Jessica, how are you today? Maybe you can fill in a little bit more about yourself to our listeners. What's up? <laughs> so yeah, my name is Jessica Osaka. I am basically like what you said, a social media content creator, which is basically like I create content for my followers, um, whether it be just photos, travel vlogs, comedy. I, I also sing, so I do like covers. But, yeah, just a bunch of random content on the internet. <laughs> awesome. Well, thanks for sharing that. And Jessica, what's your cultural background? So I am Filipino. Both my parents were born in the Philippines, so my sister and I are first-generation Filipino. Awesome. Well, thanks for sharing that. And Jessica, what would be your favorite self-confidence quote? For me, it's just not really a quote, I guess, but it's just like I like to live my life where I just don't really let other people's like judgments like affect the way I live my life. So I guess it's kind of like the dance, like no one's watching. I, I know it's like super cliche, but that's what I do. Like I just live my life and don't really try I try to like just not think about what other people are thinking about me because I I can be kind of weird so I'm like I just like to live my life as true as I can be to myself so yeah like dance like no one's watching I guess it's like a super cliche quote that I like to live by (laughs) awesome well thanks for sharing that quote and you know it's great especially when you can just do what you want without having to worry about what other people think of you because sometimes that can eat you up right especially growing up in like the philippines or growing up asian like it's so crazy how much they want you to do certain things um so so it's it's great that you can do that and jessica in your own words how do you define self-confidence self-confidence is just having the courage and i guess the confidence to like be who you are without worrying about what everyone else thinks of you i feel like just being comfortable with being yourself and not yeah just being okay with being you and not trying to be anyone that you're not. Thanks for sharing that great quote. And you know, what was your life like before your discovery of self-confidence? I I mean, I was like really shy growing up. And I think a lot of that was because like, I mean, growing up Asian, I feel like a lot of like my Asian friends, we were all like really quiet and shy and we just kind of didn't really, we kept to our studies, I guess. But so when I was like growing up, I was like super into school and I was like really smart. And then uh, as I got older, I started finding like other things I like to do besides school stuff. (laughs) So I started getting into like musical theater and singing and I through that outlet as when I started like breaking out of my shell I guess and yeah so I guess just like I found an outlet and a a creative outlet through like music and theater and that's kind of what got me to find my self-confidence and that's that was like the beginning of me like I mean of course like growing up you care what people think about you but I think just the fact like performing kind of gets you into like you're more aware of I don't know what I'm trying to say like you become more self-aware and I grew I grew my confidence through like performing and being more outgoing and doing theater and yeah I still liked up with my school stuff but I think my focus became more on performing and that's where I found confidence Awesome. Well, thanks for sharing that. And it's, you know, I've seen you like on on social media and it doesn't show at all that you were shy and quiet before. It's crazy what we learn about other people's stories, right? We see them like we see you on on maybe on YouTube videos and on social media, like you're just yourself. And you can never tell like you were once were probably too scared to even do a video at one point in your life. Oh, yeah. I used to be, like, terrified of, like, speaking in front of people. I would, like, hate going in front of the class. Like, I used to be really, really shy. And that's why it is weird to, like, think back on it. Like, when I was a kid, like, I was so shy. And I have, like, nieces and nephews who are, like, younger, and I see them, and it kind of reminds me of how I used to be. But I try to, like, encourage them. Like, yeah, like, don't listen to anyone. Just, like, be you, and you'll be okay. Awesome. Well, thanks for sharing that. And, you know, after that realization, like, performing as an outlet to your confidence, what's your life been like now? I do feel like when I was shyer and I I did really like care about how I was perceived by my peers. But like now that I like don't care about that, I feel like I'm I'm allowed to live more freely. And it's like 
I feel like when you can live more free, it's like you're you find more happiness that way. So yeah, I, I mean, not that I was unhappy, but I feel like now. Yeah, I just like have like a happier outlook on life and it's more fun. Life is like living is more fun when you are just yourself and you're not trying to be someone else. Thanks for sharing that. And it does make a difference when you can just go out there and be your authentic self. And, you know, just whatever, whatever happens, happens, right? There's people out there who will love you. There's people out there who might not agree with what you do, but I mean, as long as you're true to yourself, that's all that matters. And, you know, to the woman who's listening to your episode, she may be in her own journey of self-confidence. What would be that one tip you would give to her? I think just like the theme that I've been touching on this whole time. It's just like, I actually like just put out a jewelry line and all the jewelry has a like a meaning behind it. And one of the things that spoke to me the most was like val- uh, validation comes from within. Because a lot of like, even me, I still struggle with it sometimes. Like you have to like not compare yourself to everyone, like to someone else's journey. Like everyone's journey is specific to their, it's like to themselves. So a lot of like, I've, especially with like being in the field that I'm in, you want to compare yourself to everyone, like compare your success to someone else's success. And that's like the fast track to being unhappy. So I guess for me, it's just like, like find validation within yourself. Don't like, don't compare yourself to someone else. Don't like look outward for validation. It's just to be truly like self-confident and happy is you have to be happy with yourself and just being able to find happiness within you without having to look out outward for it. So yeah, I guess like validation comes from, from within. So you just need to be happy with yourself and, I know that's like easier said than done, but once you find that, then you can do anything. Awesome. Well, thanks for sharing that great tip. And it's true, right? It does take a lot of work, but the more work you do, the easier it gets. So um, thanks for sharing that great tip. And if our listeners wanted to get to know a little bit a little bit more about you and what you do or check out some of your videos, is there any links or social media profiles you can connect with? Yeah. So basically, my username across everything is Jess Kalasaka. Very creative. <laughs> just use my name. But yeah, on Instagram, on Twitter, on YouTube. Um, if you just search my name, Jessica Lasaka, and that's L-E-S-A-C-A, you can find me. <laughs> awesome. Well, thanks for sharing that. And to our listeners, if you want to connect with Jessica, you can also head on over to the com and search for Jessica's name. Her show notes will pop up along with everything else we talked about. And I just really want to thank Jessica for taking the time to share her story and tips with us today on self-confidence. So thank you so much, Jessica. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Not a problem. It was great having you on the show. And to our listeners, Be on the lookout for another new episode of Another Amazing Woman's Journey to Self-Confidence, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye for now. Bye. Thank you for tuning in to another amazing episode of the Tao of Self-Confidence. Sign up for our free membership site to get more amazing resources for self-confidence by visiting our website at thetaoofselfconfidence.com. Your inner journey to self-confidence awaits.